All right, in this video, I'm just going to kind of briefly go over the PowerPoints that I had uh, and gave to you guys in class last time. I know I posted those online, and some of you are having trouble downloading them, so I'm just going to do a quick video on it because uh, everyone can generally get YouTube on their computer. Um, so this is the PowerPoint. Uh, this is the overall animal cell. Uh, a lot of the questions I'll ask you will probably come off this slide specifically. Um, you know, like probably the nucleus, nucleolus, um, you know, probably the Golgi complex, um, maybe even the mitochondria, uh, stuff like that um, will probably come off of this and the matrix in there. But I'm just going to kind of go through this just like I did in class. Um, and normally I'll have like a video like this up before you come to class. Uh, you know, like if we end up having school Wednesday, um, I'll have a video of what we're going to do um, for you already uh, posted that day so that you can uh, watch it right afterwards. And a lot of times I'll even have it before class. You can kind of get a head start on what's going in if you're uh, that eager beaver kind of guy uh, or gal. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go through all this real briefly here. This is a ribosome. Ribosomes are uh, in the cell, kind of floating aimlessly in the cell, uh, sometimes in there, also centered around the endoplasmic reticulum. There's a lot of them around here. You'll find them here and, and there uh, sparsely, uh, but they're, the majority of them are right here on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. In fact, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is, is rough. It's because of these ribosomes. Um, they're kind of this granular protein type um, uh, structure of, of a thing. Uh, and what they're used is actually in protein synthesis. So you'll learn more about how that happens and what goes on in physiology for that. But um, rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, has ribosomes. This is kind of a computer image of what they look like. Uh, that's not an actual rib uh, ribosome blown up or anything. Uh, vacuole, just go ahead and disregard this slide. Um, I'm not going to test you on this in class. Um, I know I didn't uh, mention that and I showed it to you in class, but if you studied that, more power to you. I apologize. This is actually a uh, plant cell, and um, I'm not going to... I was going to post up an animal cell with it on there, but I don't want to confuse anyone, so just go ahead and throw that one out. All right, this is kind of that same uh, picture, only focusing on the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, and I'll probably show you something like this uh, on the... Uh, on the test and I'll what I'll probably do is I'll show you this picture and this one and I'll have like five and eight you know labeled on there I'll say five and eight are this and this right so I'll give you a couple different ones to look at on there uh, with that but uh, the you know the endoplasmic reticulum uh, synthesizes you know proteins it's kind of um, a chamber for the the proteins once they're synthesized and put in a membrane you know it goes through the smooth endoplasmic reticulum also does some stuff with sterols all that stuff you'll learn uh, more about in phys uh, but if you like to you know if you're like me I have to know the why behind something before I can remember you know what it is so you can't just say hey this big purple circle uh, you know right here is the nucleus I need to know what the nucleus does to remember it so if you're like that you know I'm kinda giving you some background info on that but you do not need to know the specifics of that for my test and I do not believe Carson's either. All right, this is the Golgi complex uh, right here. Golgi complex, Golgi apparatus, you'll hear it called interchangeably things uh, throughout your book and probably by uh, Professor Carson and I uh, as well. So uh, if you do, don't, you know, don't be confused by that. It's, it's called several things. Um, it's mainly like a warehouse. You know, you can kind of see, uh, this is a really good picture actually, um, of these things coming in. And basically what happens is like this would be you know, maybe a protein, it could be nutrients, you know, it could be anything. It's not just protein, proteins, but mainly proteins are in there. They'll come out of, uh, this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, so they'll come out of here. They'll be put into a vesicle. Um, in between here and here, it's called a transport vesicle, um, and then it goes to the Golgi complex where it's packaged in a, a membrane, so it can be exocytosed. You can see a picture of this, exo, meaning getting it to the uh, outside of the cell and cytos uh, site meaning cell so um, it goes through here to be put in a specific membrane so that it can kind of go through and do stuff like that um, and it'll do this with uh, other things other than proteins also but that's the main type of thing so this that's the main you know focus of the Golgi complex it packages things in membranes and that's why it's so close often you'll see it so close to the cell in there 
this is the cytoskeleton. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm really going to test you over this. I just kind of want you to be aware of it. Um, you know, if, if you see a diagram like this and like this, um, you know, these, these lines right in here, um, it's kind of like, you know, the scaffolding, I guess, of, of a cell um, where it kind of helps keep it together, keeps the structure of it solid so that it's not just this water balloon. It's like a water balloon with a coat hanger defining the shape of the water balloon, if that makes sense. Um, and this is an all right picture of it, I guess. Um, but to me, if you if I were to look at this, not with the title cytoskeleton on there, that almost looks like maybe nerves or neuron, you know, or I don't know, something off of uh, uh, the matrix, maybe, I don't know. But um, I'm not sure if I'll test you over it, but if you see, you know, this picture right here with the lines, that's what it is. Mitochondria. This is a big one. You're going to use mitochondria uh, throughout anatomy. Um, well, maybe not so much throughout anatomy, but all throughout phys. It's going to be a part, part of the electron transport chain, uh, a part of uh, the Krebs cycle, a part of glycolysis. All these things that you're going to use later on in physiology, microbiology, uh, you know, nursing 100, 200, 300 level classes, all those things are going to require you to just know this like you know your ABC. So, you know, this is the class you start in with that. This is the, the uh, mitochondria, the whole shell of it. Uh, on a, you know, drawn out computer image, it kind of looks like a gel capsule, uh, you know, like maybe a Benadryl gel capsule uh, size, I don't know, something like that. But when you open it up inside, you'll see this matrix uh, in here, and you'll learn more about what the function of this matrix is in Fizz. Um, but that's what this is, is the matrix. So I'll show you a picture of this. I'll expect you to know that the whole thing is called the mitochondria, and the stuff inside is the matrix. All right, lysosome. Lysosomes are another real big thing in Fizz and later on in nursing classes, and so you really need to be familiar with lysosomes. Uh, mainly what lysosomes do is uh, lice in Greek or Latin or pig Latin or something like that means uh, to cut up uh, or to dice or some, something along those lines. I'm not 100% positive off the top of my head. Um, but basically that's what a lysosome do does. It will, uh, you know, I think you can kind of see it right here. Um, you know, it covering up this may be a virus or something like that. Um, it's hard telling, but uh, it will go in and cut up the cell, you know, package it around in a membrane. Um, it also has digestive enzymes and things like that that are inside it that help to uh, break down particles and lyse them, if you would. Um, it could do that to a virus. You know, maybe there's, uh, I don't know, a dead mitochondria they don't need anymore, or, you know, maybe there's some proteins that were, there was a my, malfunction in them, um, or some DNA that has a malfunction in it, maybe. I, you know, I don't know. The list is almost limitless. That it could be, it could do anything it want, that needs to get out of the cell, and you can see it exocytose it right there where it, it goes out for uh, elimination. I'll probably show you a picture, um, maybe even of this right here, and I'll say these are lysosomes, uh, or I'll say what's this right here, you know, what's this right here, and then I'll probably show you in the very beginning. Uh, no, I take that back because it's too confusing in this main picture. So I'll probably show you this right here. And I'll say this organelle right here. And I'll say it's, it's uh, you know, phagocizing or it's, it's uh, eating up, you know, this virus right here and exocytosing it. What organelle am I talking about? But you can kind of see them in right there. So know that. Centriole. Uh, centriole is pretty important uh, because it has a its major function has to do with mitosis and cell division, which is something uh, later on in your career you're really going to be you know focused on. And I talk a lot about you know you'll use this for phys or microbiology or nursing classes, and it's really important that you kind of learn these things now because whenever you get into nursing school, uh, they're not going to go over it. They're going to assume you know it may be day 22. Um, you know, or the third, fourth, fifth, ninth, you know, I don't know, 15th week of class, and they're just going to assume that you know what this is and what it does, right? And they may throw something, uh, a question on a test that requires you to think critically about something else based off a knowledge that you should already have about the centriole uh, or anything else on there. So that's, you know, you may hear me preaching a little bit uh, about that, but that's why. Um, and, you know, Rest easy because typically 
and the nursing instructors will tell you this as well, but typically the students that take anatomy at Cox do much, much better. Anatomy and phys do much, much better uh, in the nursing classes with that type of question than, in, than transfer students. So you've got an edge up already. All right, centrioles um, was it, I guess. Let me see if I'm missing anything. I know I had problems with this in class, so I apologize. Mitochondria, centriole, root, smooth, rough, Golgi complex, uh, lysosome, nucleolus. Oh, this is the nucleolus. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the nucleus. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, so you've got everything there. Uh, this deal around here is the plasma membrane. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you know, you can shoot me an email uh, if you want. There's a link to that on the website here, uh, or you can leave me a comment in the comment box. doesn't matter to me. Most of you have my cell phone number, so you can always feel free to call me uh, as well if, you know, if you're freaking out about it or whatever. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.